Hi, it's Agnes and I'm going to answer another viewer question today. This is from Kirsten. Kirsten, you asked, how do we know if our wish is not going to be fulfilled? When is it time to accept that no matter how much I love myself or how positive my beliefs are about my specific person that he is not going to be with me, that he isn't a vibrational match? And how will this happen? Do I lose interest in him or is there someone else coming into my life that is a match? Am I blocking other possibilities from entering my life? Okay, so let me just go through this step by step. How do we know if our wish is not going to be fulfilled? <clears throat> we don't, Kirsten. We don't know because you can do everything that you can do but what's tricky is you can't actually see or you can't measure your beliefs you can't measure um you can't see all that right the beliefs the thoughts the feelings you can't see it all what you can do is actually you can and this is I'll put a YouTube down below so you can actually see where you're at. But you can actually track and trace by looking at your belief, your feelings and how you feel when you think in relation to that particular subject. That will help you to see where you're at. But whether it's going to be fulfilled or not... It's like I can't, I can't answer that question. I can't. It's, this is life. This is how it all unfolds. This is the game. You go for things or you don't go for things. You personally have to work out when have I had enough because it's different for everybody, you see. So <clears throat> I can't tell you if your wish is not going to be fulfilled and I can't tell you exactly if it is. But what I can do from what you see on my channel is equip you as best you can to be able to be in a very good position to attract what you want because you're changing you you're changing how you move through the world and you change how you vibrationally interact through energy in the world you see so Okay, so you've said here, when is it time to accept that no matter how much I love myself or how positive my beliefs are about my specific person, that he's not going to be with me? So yeah, that he isn't a vibrational match. So yeah, again, I can't answer that question. It's very personal to you when you've had enough, when you have, you know, your life experience is unique to you. So you will know, there comes a point where I think you just know. You just know I've had enough and it happens naturally. I mean, I get a lot of emails where people say, look, you know what? I did all this work and I did self-love. I don't even want my specific person anymore. And that's often when people, those people come back. So, <clears throat> but it has to be, you can't fake a letting go. You can't fake a surrender. It's got to really just... <sighs> I just, I've let this go. I really let this go. The other thing is letting go and surrender. You're not letting go and surrendering your desire. You're letting go and surrendering the doubt, the trying to make it happen, that when's it going to happen, the I've got to get this to feel good. You're letting go of all that and you're just becoming someone who's more at peace and more in a loving, relaxed, chilled out state that life is good and you are okay and loving it, not just okay, but loving it exactly how it is today. It's getting to that place because really at the end of the day, that's what we want. You know, the specific person, the cars, the job, the house, the money, the trips, whatever it is. Really, we want those things because of what it gives us behind the scenes. It makes us feel happy. It makes us feel <coughs> joyful. It makes us feel free. It makes us feel. But the thing is, this is the thing. You can feel those feelings irregardless of having any of those things, including your specific person. So that's why I say again and again and again, you've got to activate the love within you. You've got to activate the love within you. The love isn't over there with the specific person. It's been here with you the whole entire time. Like they said in The Wizard of Oz, 
They went to see the wizard and then they found out he was just a guy behind a screen making up, you know, pretending he was a wizard and yet they had they went to him for courage and for um you know the all the different characters they all had different things they wanted i'm not going to go through them now but when they got there they realized they had within them the qualities the whole entire time and it's the same here you're trying to get your specific person yet you've got this stuff inside you the whole entire time the love is within you you are loved but you keep plugging into i'm not loved and what if my person doesn't come and what if i do all this work and what if and what if and what if let that all go and feel loved that's the work <laughs> okay so anyway going back to your question <clears throat> how will that happen darling i'm not the creator of your life i don't know i don't know how it's going to happen for you i can tell you how it happened for me and i have shared it already on other youtube so you can listen to those if you want to know how it happened for me i won't go into it now but this is the thing we don't have control over the total mechanics of how the universe puts things together apart from if you live in the end result of things then you will get your end results in direct relation and proportion to what you think feel and believe on the subject of a specific person okay it's a photocopy of you it's a photocopy of you what you think about you what you think about them what you think about the relationship what you think about in this case it's a man what you think about men so you see it's really <clears throat> it really is everything's about you everything so it's letting go of being exasperated. It's letting go of I'm never going to get what I want. It's letting go of how can I work out how to get there. You're already there. The there is here. Now. Feeling loved. Fully. And then the specific person takes care of itself. They're not Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean they are. But you know what I mean. They're not the oasis in the desert that we think that they are and that's the thing this journey of I have to get my specific person becomes I have to unfold and unravel me the specific person the pain that can be caused by not being with your specific person it either forces you to grow and to learn self-love and to develop that and then to be able to radiate it out or you traumatize yourself and stay in that for years months weeks days you know it, it really can be a total torture but it really doesn't have to be if we get that you know it really is life is about us and what how much love we feel for ourselves it really is so oh Look, you might lose interest in him or someone else might come. It depends what you've projected out, what the universe will give, you see. And it all stems from here, your thought, your repetitive thought, your dominant thoughts as you think them a lot and then what becomes your beliefs that emanate from you every moment of the day. So am I blocking other possibilities from entering my life? You can have a specific person desire and still attract other people. I hear it again and again in emails, you know. Oh, I'm focusing on my specific person, but all these other people keep showing up. Well, when you're in a state of love and your state of self-love and radiating it out, you attract lots of fish in the net. That's how it works. So I hope that helps a little bit and that, um, yeah, just... It's like all your questions here. I'm not, if I'm not going to get what I want and no matter how much I do this, it's really defeatist, okay? Stop being so defeatist about you and what you're doing that you're not, it's not going to work. See, that vibe goes out and creates it's not going to work. You're not going to get what you want. You're not going to have it. You're going to live in this torture all the time. This, this whole email tells me 
that you're creating this absence of getting what you want because you're in this, okay? So I'm not saying don't go for what you want or, or what, how, want to have a specific person. I'm not saying that at all. Having a desire for that is fine. But make yourself love the first priority. If you do that, everything works. I know I say it again and again, but people, some people still emailing me saying, oh, I still, you know, he's still not texting me, he's still not contacting me, he's still not, he's still not, she's still not, she's still not, she's still not. Everyone's you pushed out and you've got to do self-love. If I could just say two things to everybody and they actually heard that and practiced it, which I know a lot of you are, it's just the people that are sending me the emails I'm talking about. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do it. Now, the other thing is I still have steampunk decadence. This is my last call to you. You actually won in the course draw and you're the last one that hasn't claimed your prize. So if you don't claim your prize, you're not going to get it. I'm now hanging on to this for a couple more days and then it's going in the bin. Okay. <laughs> oh, one more thing. If any of you are watching the YouTube, any YouTubes of mine and I've put Kamal's Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It book link, you click on it under a particular video, it doesn't work. It used to work when I first um, stuck it in there. Somewhere along the line, they've stopped allowing that link to work and they're not giving access to the book. I have got another new link. So if you can please send me an email and say, hey, Agnes, it's in this video it's not working, that way I can one by one slowly replace, okay?